These are the water purification systems or methods that I use when I go camping, hiking or do my survival videos that you've all pretty much seen. So I'll uh, take you through them all now and uh, explain. When I'm uh, not carrying my water with me, or I'm doing a survival video, or just randomly out for the day, I carry certain water purification system or methods with me, and uh, I just wanted to explain what they are. So, water purification tablets, pretty much self-explain. They're absolutely brilliant. I've used them over 60, 70 times, and the only thing I find with these is the taste of swimming pool water you get after a while. So yeah, water purification tablets, mediocre, but again, uh, I just carry them with me for, as a precaution just in case. And also survival caches too, they're quite good for. My second one is, you all know, my Crusader cup and my bandana. So when, when, when I get these bandanas, I got this one given to me, so it was already processed by my friend Jay. What you do is when you buy these, soak them in a basin of hot water to get all the excess colour out of them a couple of times, and then I put mine in the washing machine without any washing powder too. Just basically so when you get your water, you can put your bandana over the top like this and obviously dip it into your water source so you're not getting bits, and then just bring it to the boil. Well, I just bring it to the boil. I mean, a lot of people say boil your... The, the most outrageous one I've seen is boil your water for seven minutes. If I boiled this for seven minutes on my campfire, there would be no water left in it. Common sense would tell you that. So, yeah, I don't boil my water for seven minutes, three minutes, two minutes, anything. As soon as that water comes to the boil, I'm ready to go as far as I'm concerned. Done it all my camping... All my camping life, so... And never once been ill off unpurified water so yeah a boil is sufficient for me my other option is these filtration bottles you've all seen these my friend Jay gave me this one a few months ago I've used it quite excessively over the past couple of months it just holds a little filter in here as you can see it's dripping out and uh, so yeah just dip it into a river water source put the thing on and uh, you're ready to go which takes, leads me to these two bad boys. I've used these eight times so far, and so therefore they're quite new compared to the other methods. These are chlorine dioxide, part one. This one, you put 10 drops of this into the cap, and then this is the activator. 10 drops of this into the same cap, leave it for 10 minutes, then pour the cap into a litre of water, leave it for 10 minutes, and you're absolutely sweet. The only thing I've noticed with these is you don't get the aftertaste that you get on the water purification tablets. So yeah, it's I like these and I will be using a lot more of these. And I'll be I bought I bought uh, six of each, the activator and the chlorine. So I'll be putting these into and filtering them through my food caches and my survival caches. So uh, that's pretty much all I've got to say on water purification. For me anyways, that's uh, what I use when I've been camping. It's been tried and tested. You've all seen it on video over the past year and a half at some point. Apart from obviously the chlorine and chlorine dioxide and that. So yeah, they will be tested before long to an excess of using a lot. You know, eight times is really not worth testing something for eight times, you know. In my book, you've got to test it for a good year before you can at least turn around and recommend it to people. Not that that's what I do, that's just my methods. What works for me may not work for you. And uh, so yeah, we'll catch you all on my next camping trip.